Yeah, Nami. Where's my hundred million berries? So, I see you got it. Thank you very much, Nami. <sighs> Finally, I can get out of here. Get away from this bastard Arlong. Hopefully, my village will be okay when I get back. Uh, I'm so happy that I got all the money so they can escape from this island. So I'm going to see what Nezuko and tell her the good news. Hey, Nezuko, what's going on? Why is, why is Marines here? <laughs> it seems you've been hiding illegal money, Nami. What are y'all doing? We're looking for your money that you have. What money? What are you talking about? Oh, don't try to hide and be coy with us. We know you have money here. Destroy the Tangerine Garden. Oh, yeah, it's right underneath here. Huh, you sly girl. You really thought you was going to hide that from us? But how, how the hell do they know that my money was there? Damn it, that bastard Erlon sold me out. Shit, shit, shit. I hate this. I tried so hard to get everybody to safety without nobody getting killed. And this bastard, Erlong, I will, you will rule the day. I will get strong and I will kill you, you bastard. So, a few years go by. Nami is the only survivor of her village. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna get out of here alive, I'm gonna have to train very hard. I mean, I gotta train so hard that my bones is gonna break. But, I will do it. If it means to kill Erlong, I will. I will do 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 sit-ups, pick up five ton boulders for an hour if I have to push myself to the absolute limit I will become stronger than Erlong and kill him and I will take vengeance for everybody that sacrificed itself for me I swear on my life that I will do that says me to all of y'all I miss y'all all and I hope y'all are in heaven and having a good time Maybe I'll be there soon if I can't beat Erlong, but hopefully I can kill this bastard and I can finally leave this island. And if I'm going to get stronger, I need to head to an island where there's a lot of tough creatures to fight so I can get my battle sense. So Nami leaves and heads out to No Man's Island. Nothing but wild and powerful creature lives there. And for the next year, she trains to the absolute limit of her human body. So much that her bones break and regrow in different ways and reinforcing her bones to a certain extent where it's so durable. She so she came so durable that her body could take a lot of punishment, and I mean a lot of punishment, guys. Anyway, well, I need to make me a weapon, a good weapon. Let's. I want to use an axe, and I'm gonna make it out of the strongest stone on this island. I know it's gonna be heavy. It's probably gonna be like five tons. But I've been living five tons all these years. Ain't gonna do, ain't, I'm used to it by now. So, Nami starts crafting a battle axe that is like damn near her size and it weighs five tons. So she's practicing with her axe, she's getting a fighting style. She's getting used to her weapon. And one day, the strongest creature on the island, the Bengal tiger, she runs into. If I can beat this tiger, that means I became super strong. Maybe I can beat Erlon. So the tiger is roaring out her. You think that scares me? Bring it on! 
says Nami. And the Nami and the lion, I mean the tiger start clashing. The clash is so crazy. The, all the other animals is running off the island trying to get away from these two. It's like it's a stalemate, kind of. Then Nami comes down with the final blow. She does a triple flip axe slash. So she like flips like three times and just came down and cut the tiger head off. Yeah, I became a lot stronger. I think it's time to visit a Erlong and his goons. They shouldn't be a problem for me, says Nami. So Nami heads back to her island. Um, so she walks back. She's like, huh, this island is depressing. I miss all of y'all, but today I will get y'all revenge. So Nami is walking towards Arlong Park. Arlong is like, hey, it's been a long time. What the hell you think you was doing for all that time? You should have been wrong your ass back here. Today, I'm done working for you, Erlong. What? Girl, what you mean? I'm here to kill you. <laughs> kill me. You must must have bumped your head. Nah, I didn't bump my head. And Erlong is looking at Nami and he sees the axe that she has. And he's like, Huh, so you think you're strong because you can hold a big axe, huh? Oh, this axe on my back? So she picks it up, like, she picks it up, and then she drops it. And then it makes a huge clash on the ground and shakes everything. Everybody is amazed, like, oh, shit. That axe must weight like five tons at most. Yeah, says Erlon, huh? Okay, you think you can pick up five tons? You think you're tough? Well, sorry to tell you, I can pick up more than that. It's not, it doesn't matter how much I can pick up. It's a matter of fact, it's just a matter if I can kill you or not. You, Nami, you got any last regrets before you do this? I might just spare you if you just change your mind and, and beg for forgiveness. Like hell, like I would do that. Screw you, Erlong. Your time is up. So, Erlong was like, all right. Then he just lunges, like he tries to blitz Nami. Nami jumps up and she like comes down. He dodges her. <laughs> Not bad, Nami. Well, I've been training for these five years so I can kill you. So they start clashing. Then Nami freaking does a um, triple axe flip and she just cuts off one of Earl Long's arms. My arm, you bitch, says Erlon. And then he takes out one of his jaws and he throws it at Nami and it bites, like it hits her arm and it makes a big gash to it. Shit, says Nami. I won't be able to use my axe like this. Huh, you got handicapped. We both handicapped. Now, Erlon jumps in the water and he's about to um, spear Nami through the chest. But Nami musters her strength. She picks up her axe and blocks Erlon from sparing her. And the other fishman pirate, I mean, other fishman pirates is like, huh. Well, if she even gets past Erlon, she has to deal with us. And little does she know, a certain pirate is coming towards her island by the name of Straw Hat. So, she's fighting Erlon. It's pretty much a stalemate. And then she lands a lucky blow. She slices his legs right off. That should be... You can't do nothing to me no more. Now die, Arlong. And then she just throws her axe and hits him right in the head with it. And then... Damn it. I didn't know that was going to take a lot out of me. And she looks around, she's like, shit. <laughs> it's too many of them for me to fight by myself. This might be the end for me. 
Well, I killed him. That's all that matters. And Nabi passes out, right? So, Luffy, um, Sanji, Zoro, and Usopp is like, yo, why is this island so deserted? And they happen to walk past Arlan Park, and then they see a, a girl on the floor. She looked like she'd been through a lot. She just, she's bleeding out and all that. So Sanji runs up in there like, what's going on here? Why is a beautiful woman like herself on the floor? Huh, who the hell are you? We were just about to kill her. Oh, yeah? Then they just start beating up Fishman Pirates up, Zoro and Sanji. They just cut them down. And Nami is passed out. Luffy picks Nami up, and they take her towards their boat. And they head off to the next island to see where is the doctor so they can get her patched up and all of that. So they're like, yo, yo, this axe weighs like five tons, says Zoro. Whoa, she's pretty strong for a woman. I never met a woman like this before in my life. That can swing around five ton axes. That's insane. I wonder what's her training regimen. I want to learn how to train like her as well. Yeah, but we gotta make sure she makes it through. This wound is pretty bad, said Sanji. I'm gonna wrap it up as best as I can, but we need to get her to a hospital, a doctor. Yeah, so let's head off to the next island, says um, Usopp. So they all head off to the next island. They get to the next island. They take her to where the, the nurses are. They patch her up, and a few, a day pass, a day go by. Nami wakes up. Oh, my head. Uh. My arm. What's going on? The last thing I remember, I was fighting Erlong. And then she sees Luffy, Zoro, Nami. I mean, oh my god. Nami sees all of them and she's like, Oh, who are y'all? Well, we happened to come by an island and seen you on the floor, passed out and bleeding. With all these fishmen surrounding you, but we took care of them. Yeah, I just got into a fight with the tyrant Erlong of that. He killed all my friends and family. And I had to get vengeance. So I set out to sea and went training for five years where no man should be. And I became the king of that, I mean the queen of that island. I killed every um, vicious animal on there to become stronger. And then I came back to go kill the pastor Erlong. Well, judging by when we saw you, you did your job. Rest easy, warrior. And she lays back down. She's like, I wish my friends could see me beat him. I just wish everybody was still alive. So Luffy likes her energy. He likes her warrior mentality, right? So he's like, yo, I really want her to join our crew. What you say, guys? Yeah, I like her. She's pretty cool and badass. She did all of that for her peoples. I want her on the crew. Everybody agrees. So the next day when Nami's a little bit better, um, Luffy walks up to her and he's like, yo, I want you to join my crew. She's like, I don't like pirates. Trust me, we're not like them bastards, okay? Well, that's true. Y'all did help me. Anyway, like, what is your dream, Nami? I want to conquer the seas and draw a map of everything. And I want to be the strongest woman in the world. Huh, I like that, says Zoro. I guess me and you can be sparring partners since you use an axe and I use swords. And I use a three sword style. Huh, interesting. So I guess I think that's it, guys. Like, she's joining our crew then. <laughs> and plus, I'm a navigator, says Nami. So I'll make sure you get where you need to go. Anyway, since you asked my dream, what is your dream? My dream, I want to be the king of the pirates says Luffy. 
Zoro, I want to be the world's greatest swordsman. Me, I want to find the all blue. And I want to be a brave warrior of the sea, says Usopp and Sanji and Zoro. Huh. I like all of y'all. Y'all pretty cool. I guess you all got the same type of goals. Yup. So, to all together, let's make a cheer. We all get to our dreams. That's damn right, Nami. And they all cheer a drink and they drink and all of that. They eat. Um, Nami eats a lot in this with us because she gotta keep her, her, her frame and her energy in check because she's a warrior now. She needs all that energy to fight. So she's, she's asked Zoro, yo, what is your training regimen? Like, what do you do? I lift weights around five tons as well. Huh, okay. I guess we can spar. Want to test each other's strength out? Sure, Nami. So Zoro, Nami square up. And Sanji says, begin. And they start, they test each other's strength. Nami's not trying to kill Zoro. Zoro's not trying to kill Nami. So they test each other's strength. And he's like, the blows behind that axe is insane. And she says the same thing about Zoro. She couldn't believe how strong he was. Well, his name is Pirate Hunter Zoro. I should have expected that. And they, they test each other out and then they call it off. It's like, you're pretty much even. You're just slightly faster than me, Zoro. But I hit a little bit harder than you. Yeah. That's interesting. So, guys, other than that, I'm going to end the word off right here. Kill a kill, signing off. Peace. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm out of here. Deuces.